Today we'll be discussing uh, meat processing. Your presenter is uh, Ali Mustafa Abdullah. Uh, in meat processing, we are going to look into managing butchery operations. How should one go about it? And uh, we will start uh, by discussing transportation of animal meat. Before it reaches the butchery, how or what should uh, somebody look into? One of the important aspects is personal safety gear. This should be worn as per workplace uh, procedures and cleaning of uh, carrier should be done as per the standard operating procedures. The environment, uh, the work environment uh, safety should be observed as per the rules and regulations. Uh, workplace procedures are adhered to, to the letter. Animal meat legal transportation. All the above are to ensure safety of the individuals who are uh, undertaking the job. Animal meat legal transportation documents obtained as per workplace procedures, they should be done without this, then uh, everything that uh, one is doing will be questionable by the meat inspectors. Meat loading and transportation done as per task and legal requ uh, requirement Sorry for the repetition. Offloading procedure done as per the task and the legal requirement. Next, we look uh, into how the animal meat should be displayed once it has reached the butchery. Um, the meat display cabinet or the shelves, the trays should be cleaned as by the standard operating procedure. This is very important because you're dealing with the uh, human uh, food, uh, food for consumption. And animal meat sorting based on species uh, or meat parts uh, as the liquid requirements uh, and the market demand. Uh, people usually uh, sort animal meat into sticks, and, uh, ribs and all this uh, it depends with the market demand there are people who uh, like stick only the others who would want ribs uh, maybe for nyama choma and salt and then uh, the arrangement on the display area uh, should be done uh, based on the parts the species of now you cannot mix cow meat and goat meat it's not neat and uh, it won't be good for for displaying or when the customers come in it won't be that much attractive or they'll be uh, they'll, it will cause some confusion so it's good to differentiate animal uh, one species from the other for example let's say goat meat and you have goat and, and sheep uh, if you display both into one uh, or close to each other, it will be very difficult to differentiate between the goat's meat and the sheep's meat. And next, uh, we we will look into carrying out animal meat portioning. And uh, how do you go about this? Animal meat carcass for sectioning should be placed on the working tables as per the task requirement and what you want to do on it. And then sectioning should be carried out as per the product's requirements and market demand. Again, everything should be done according to the procedure of the workplace. And then um, after sectioning, then uh, preservation. And how should you store the meat maybe it's for later transporting or transportation to uh, a customer that is a bit far or maybe it's surplus and uh, you store you want to refrigerate it for later use or selling it later 
the portion animal meat prepared for preservation for standard uh, operating procedures and then uh, it should be preserved based on the product requirements as per our case procedures that is about uh, preservation preservation of animal meat is done in different ways one is refrigeration we all, we all know that and uh, I've come to the end of my presentation. Thanks for listening. Until next time, God bless.